hello students welcome back to the second video of this playlist so in this video uh, we will be solving question number two from the most recent past paper of pure mathematics 4 which is october 2024 p4 paper so let's see uh, what's the question number two from this paper is about okay so you can see the question number two on the screen so basically the concepts behind this question uh, it's from uh, proof by contradiction that has been discussed in the very first chapter of your pure mathematics 4 textbook so in order to be able to solve this question definitely you should have idea about the proof by contradiction like how to do the algebraic workings in the proof by contradiction and definitely the steps of proof by contradiction so let's get started with the second question of p4 october 2024 paper fine so in question two uh, they are asking uh, they are saying what the curve c1 has equation the equation of curve c1 is y equals to x to the power 4 plus 10x squared plus 8 where x element real numbers this is a quartic equation uh, an equation with power of the variable 4 okay the curve c2 has equation what y equals to 2x squared negative 7 where x element real numbers so curve c2 is basically a quadratic curve and curve c1 is basically a quartic curve okay fine so now the question is use algebra to prove by contradiction that curve c1 and the curve c2 do not intersect that means we need to use proof by contradiction to to prove that the two curves do does not intersect okay consider proof by contradiction how we approach how do we approach proof by contradiction proof by contradiction the name itself says contradiction that means something that will be contradicting isn't it so basically what we do in contradiction proof by contradiction is that we consider the opposite thing that has been asked for in the question as true okay we will assume that the opposite of the thing that has been mentioned in the question is true so here they are saying the curve c1 and c2 do not intersect so the opposite thing would be what they do intersect so we will assume that the two curves what does intersect okay so the first step is do the assumption the assumption is that the curve c1 and c2 intersect okay so assume that what okay assume that c1 and c2 what intersects okay so this is the first step done second step is what according to our assumption we will do what algebraic many uh, some we will do some algebraic workings okay so if they intersect then what will be what will be there 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 will be definitely points of intersection okay so at the point of intersection at the point of intersection what would be their y values would be equal because point of intersection is such a point that is basically a common point of the two curves right so their y values would be what equal so we, we can write x to the power 4 plus what what was the equation plus 10 x squared 10 x squared plus 8 this is equals to 2 x squared negative what 7 fine now take all the terms to the left side so you will get x to the power 4 uh, plus 10 x squared negative 2 x squared so that would give you 8 x squared uh, plus 8 plus 7 it's what plus 8 plus 7 this is what 15 isn't it 15 equals to what 0 okay now the problem what's the problem this is a quartic equation so how can we solve it or how can we uh, show our algebraic workings to approach the proof okay fine so what we will do is that uh, since we need what 
we need to show that this statement is what not true right because our assumption is the opposite thing right opposite thing of the of the what question has asked for right so we need our main aim is to di like disprove our assumption so in that case we need to rearrange the equation in such a way that we can show that this equation do not have any roots fine so how can we do, do, do this let's do what let's convert this quadratic equation into uh, completing the square form okay so if we do so what you will get uh, consider we can write this as x squared whole squared because uh, to convert it to completing the square form definitely we need to have a quadratic equation isn't it so we can write 8 x squared plus 15 equals to 0 now compare x squared plus bx right so you will get x plus b over 2 b over 2 is what here 4 right 4 whole squared minus b over 2 whole squared so minus b over 2 is what 16 b over 2 is 4, 4 4 squared is what 16 plus 15 equals to what 0 now simplify this equation to get the uh, complete completing the square form so plus 4 whole squared negative 1 equals to 0 now you can make some what comment based on this equation what comments this equation x squared plus 4 whole squared negative 1 here x squared plus 4 whole squared it is always greater than 1 it will be never equal to 1 right so since it is not it's it's always greater than 1 and it is not it will be never 1 that means this equation does not have any what solution any root so if this equation does not have any root then what we can say this equation represents the points of intersection so if this equation do not have any root then there is no point of intersection which contradicts our assumption that's it okay so do the comment now here what we can say x squared plus 4 whole squared it is what it is uh, is always is always greater than 1 right so the equation do not have do not have any roots do not have any root and hence what we can say hence the there is no point of intersection no point point of intersection between c1 and what c2 so if there are no point of intersection between c1 and c2 this is what the contradiction okay that contradicts our our assumption okay hence what proven that c1 and c2 do not what intersect that's what the question has asked for right so we have proved by contradiction that the curves c1 and c2 do not what intersect and that's the end of question number two fine